M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So I picked up one of these budget radios, a Royage 58 Plus, and there isn't actually much info out there. And when you turn it on, it's nice to look at. It's a nice, good, feels actually good quality, especially for the price, which is 30 odd pound delivered. But I'm looking at the manual now. I'll put a link in the description to it. It's just a photograph, but it's a very good photograph. And I actually got it off the QR code that is in the radio, which is quite handy. So I thought I'd just quickly show it and then put a link in. So use the manual, it's VHF, UHF. Uh, of course it's got a battery and then you've got the screen here. So let's have a look at some of these screen numbers. So uh, number one, lock, number two, bell, end sound types, digits, one and two mean end sound, okay? Three, that looks like dual watch, yeah. Dual standby, Vox, it has Vox. Talk and reverse frequencies on number, was that five? Five. Talk around reverse frequencies, reverse frequency talk around. That's five. So I'm, gu I'm guessing that's your minus shift then battery. Seven channel, yeah, it does have memory mode. You push the, I think it's the hash button for that. Number eight battery, what does that say? It's quite small, isn't it? Number eight battery level. 9W means channel bandwidth, okay, wide or narrow. 10, TX power, yeah. 11, is that TX power as well? High power, so it has a separate thing for high and low, does it? Uh, 12 is a signal meter, it does seem to move, I don't know how accurate it is. 13 is working mode, so that's the frequency you're on. It does sound good, it's a good speaker on it. 14, main working area. Yeah, main, so the main goes up and down to select the A or the B band. 15, FM, AM. And volume mic, okay. Level. TX, RX, icon color blue means under received. So when, it's, when you see blue, it's received. TX and RX color red. So when you TX, it goes red. Okay, what else we got here? 4.1 function and operation. Yeah, PTT, receive signal, working mode, switching. Short press the hash button to change the working mode from VFO to memory. Yeah, what else we got here? Frequency changing repeater frequency setting. This is the one I was looking at. While under VFO mode, input frequencies manually via keyboard to input six digits to input things. So you can manually enter frequencies, yeah. Channel switching is the up and down arrows. Airband, channel switching. It has DTMF, I see straight away. Delete clear frequency deleting FM function. NOAA, side key set to NOAA channel. So that's weather reporting. Function shortcuts. So shortcut key is long press to turn on or off scanning function. Gonna have to play with that. So key functions of short press, naught to nine. Ah, so the, but the numbers have got um, functions built into them. So that's the one I was looking for uh, to shift frequency step. What I was looking for was to to do the plus or minus shift for repeaters. Standby, backlight, turn off backlight, turn off beep. So every button has a, has a shortcut. Hash to lock, fast frequencies, switch TX priority to busy. So I think a lot of information is actually on here. Side key functions. One off, press side key, nothing happened. Monitor, TXRX, frequency detect, repeater mode. To switch from talk around to reverse frequency, receiving frequencies is the main status while under talk around mode. The frequency of TXRX are reversed while under reverse frequency. Well, that's more of an input thing, isn't it? I'm still not seeing where the shift is, you know, minus and plus shift for repeaters. DCS, I've seen CTCSS and DCS, AM, DTMF. So where is the minus shift? That's the thing I can't find. And the other thing I can't find is um, is how to dim the screen, if that's possible. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.